Okay, welcome to another episode. In this one, we're going to go near the center of Hilbert. Mm. Well, maybe let's do this. All right, so um, what you do, you should have some navigation data. Exchange specific charts. And what we need is alien cartographic data. I don't know, let's get like 10 of them. Because sometimes you have to do it a couple of times. And now let's pop the chart, the maps. And uh, see if we can find a, um, a portal. It'll help us explore the planets a little bit in the system at the same time. I'm just gonna pop it ran randomly right outside here. seek knowledge of the past, you can get something that's usually worth credits. I'm just going to do language, because my goal is to find a portal, not to make money this way. So I might as well gain the extra language and uh, any other benefits. Now let's just pop the map here. It's fine if it's on this planet. Notice my standing increased and I gained another word and I got words from each of these. So that's two maps, but not entirely a waste. Again, the other option on these makes units. We don't really need units. All right, let's pop another map.
If I remember correctly, the monolith is what we want. Well, the, um, 40 condensed carbon is coming through, like, you see it moving to the left, so that's usually the one you want. Alright, but the main thing is not that we're rewarded. But you have a, if you have a positive result, it allows you to ask it to show you where a portal is. If you have a Viking dagger. So we're going to need a Viking dagger. Do we have one? No. So here's how we're going to get a Viking dagger. We can either go back to our base... But I'll show you another way. Um, it involves a little bit of war. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I go, we have to be able to find our way back here for sure. So, what I usually like to do is I like to drop temporarily a save beacon over by the um, because you can see them from outer space make it black and gray I have launch You can see a save beacon from outer space, so we'll be able to find it again. So we need to go to a, um, a trading post, and the people that land there in a Viking system usually will sell Viking daggers. So if you have enough units, you could just buy one. Now, because we did the Artemis line, we have all the portal glyphs, so we're good that way. We could just, yeah, um, deliver an item. Usually, delivering an item sends you to a trading post. Hopefully, it'll be in a Viking system. So let's do the postage pay. If it's in a different system, you will see. All right, so we're going to do the postage paid mission. missions also allow you to explore a little bit they and you get paid to do it so it has a double benefit I mean you could just land on planets and explore but there's planets that you'll never land on so they kind of pay you with these missions to go on the planet
so this has not only the benefit of letting us explore and go to other systems. In fact, let's, I'm going to stop off at the space station, see uh, what multi-tool is there, and uh, get another inventory slot. We'll do the message when we get out of this thing. You see, up there, there, that way is where we need to go. Alright, the message... They left us. I bet you it's Dreams of the Deep. Dreams of the Deep will keep on triggering, I think, until we do it. Yep, Dreams of the Deep. We'll do that eventually. So it switched automatically to Dreams of the Deep. Click Postage Pay to get it back. And E to uh, in, give to finish the mission. All right, we finished that, but look at the ships are landing. Let's talk to the people and buy. Uh, oh, an S-Class Solar. Let's just have a look at the ship. You know, I'm not really impressed with the hyperdrive range, and I don't see... Oh, there's two slots right next to each other. Ten million. You'd think I buy every S class ship that comes my way. I'm gonna buy it, but I'm gonna uh, let me get. Uh, well, I'm gonna buy it. Resist. If you like solars, there's the glyphs. In Hilbert now, this won't work in Euclid. I'm not going to read the glyphs out. Yeah, let's let's go get the dagger. Um, offer to trade. And there's the Viking Dagger, so let's just grab one. We can always get more this way. But we might as well get paid for the mission that took us to where we needed to be to get a Viking Dagger. So let's cash that in real, oh, let's cash it in the other side.
Okay, mission complete. Hand in mission. Alright. This is just going to take a few minutes more to do. I have to go to the back to where we put the safety, get the coordinates of the portal, and then use the portal, and then I'll end this episode. There it is. First, I pick up the save beacon, because I'm not going to need it there anymore. Use the boy, uh, Viking Dagger to locate the portal. to do and then I'll close it. visit bases, explore, whatever. Let me um, show, let me go to the space station. I'll show you where we are. Five thousand four hundred and fifty light years from the center. All right, pretty close. Within, you know, about five thousand. You know what? I don't see a um, um, space station, so I'm gonna land at somebody's base and I'm gonna end the video probably there.